the internet may be found just about anywhere. In addition to the thousands of other locations, it can be obtained in places such as offices, shopping malls, and subway stations. It is no longer considered a luxury item, but rather more of a fundamental necessity for metropolitan households. Even airlines are keeping up with this development and are ready to provide a Wi-Fi connection. The proposal to provide mobile services and internet access to passengers flying within India received approval recently from the Telecom Commission, the highest decision-making body within the Telecom Department. This means that mobile services and internet access will soon be available to passengers flying within India. In this video, we are going to discuss how it is going to function and how much it might cost you. Users will be able to better utilize the time spent traveling. They will be able to do most basic web functions as well as stream videos from say, Netflix, depending on the speed available. The Department of Telecommunications DOT, will create a new category of licensees called in-flight connectivity IFC, providers. They will provide internet and voice services on flights operating within India and need not necessarily be Indian entities. DOT will frame a new license for IFC providers and charge an initial token fee of 1 rupee annually. Mobile calling service will be allowed above 3000 meters in the Indian airspace. In-flight Wi-Fi services rely on geostationary satellites which beam signals directly to antennas installed on the airline. This is more effective when the airline is passing over a water body compared with ATG, air-to-ground, based networks which use satellites to beam the signal first to a transmitter on the ground and then to the antennas on the airline. The direct transmission of internet through satellites will be carried over the Ku and Ka bands. The former has a smaller range of 12 to 18 gigahertz while the latter has a range of 26 to 40 gigahertz, resulting in better bandwidth. Airlines and service providers will have to put a server on the flight along with the equipment to convert satellite signals into data packets. They will also have to add the equipment to reorient the antenna to face the satellite so the reception quality is not affected. Also, there will be interruptions when the airline moves from the range of one satellite to another. Installing equipment on every plane can be a costly affair for airlines. This means the cost of Wi-Fi services will be much higher than what consumers pay for 4G data available on mobile and public Wi-Fi networks on the ground. Kapil Kaul, CEO and Director of Kappa South Asia, had told Mint, Rough estimates suggest fitting the equipment to provide such services in an aircraft could cost around $400,000 to $600,000. Initially, the cost to the passenger may be on the higher side. 